there anything we can do to get you out of here? It doesn't seem she fair that... has no idea. I have no idea. Sorry. I wish I could help, but nothing I do seems to work. Keep saying that, Lilia. That's, that's a good you start. You need to stop. <laughs> save, th save those for the regret <laughs> tear ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to spell magic on her? Uh, yeah, it doesn't on work. Amber? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> it oh makes you God. a little sad. I've had, I've had a few. <laughs> It just looks so defeated. So, um, Chungus says, I feel like we're running out of time. Maybe we better get back to that furnace. It's, it's eight, Chungus is now the. It's 8 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're right, Chungus. We gotta go. Oh. <laughs> Let's get moving. On the way there. So, does this mean y'all are gonna have to cry tears of regret and throw them in the fire? And that's gonna. That's yeah, hopefully. Uh, uh, uh. So you return to the furnace, and Seraphine, again, your armor feels like magnetically attracted to the furnace. Mm. But there's nobody around. It's just you and this super hot fire. And your regrets. Yeah, I've got a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's party time now. Everybody sit down. Okay. Everybody sit down. We all sit down. Chris, Chris, Applesauce. I'm gonna get like a little bowl out. <laughs> Around the campfire. You get a bowl. Brave, yeah. like, here. pops <laughs> open uh, like a quart of her fine wine that she has in the, her pack somewhere. <laughs> like, here we go. <laughs> Let's start this out right. Here we go. <laughs> we're literally gonna cry out of fire because we're done. I love this. <laughs> So I mean, you don't have to cry in real life. You just you're gonna have to tell me. you're gonna have to tell me what you do to try to generate tears of regret, and I'll have to decide if it's enough to fill one fourth of the bowl. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Or if the single tear is just full of potent regret that's gonna <laughs> obviously. Ooh, hmm. Oh god. I go in order. <laughs> Marcus Nero says, this sounds really awkward, so I'm just going to wait over there. No, Marcus! <laughs> Fair enough. Marcus! Marcus. Sure you have Marcus. I do have a friend too, but you haven't cried about it, so I don't think it's needed. And you also see the Blink Dog, like, on patrol, ready to lick your valuable te tears of regret. No, we, we, we can't do Not this time, buddy. Not this time. <laughs> okay, who wants to go first? Who over does it need? I think you should go first. Uh, no. I'm good. I'll go last. Okay. I'm 70 years old. <laughs> I got no life anymore. You have done so much. In I your had life. dreams. I had dreams of ships. I had dreams of family. <laughs> but that's all gonna go because I'm 70 years old. <laughs> you got some like. Oh no! I rule that your tears, your your eyes are welling up, but there are no tears yet. Why well, get really deep? Fabio, Fabio doesn't want somebody that's seventy years old. <laughs> Here comes a tear of regret. <laughs> is it does it work if I'm crying tears of laughter? Spider <laughs> information. He's just going to betray you again. Okay, My just, poor, no. sweet, trusting Seraphine. So full of life. So much like my Tatiana. Okay, well, oh, with this gosh. girl again. It is Tatiana. Okay, regardless of the fact. You really I'll need to talk to him about this. This <laughs> seems like a bad. This just seems like a toxic relationship, and you really just need to so sit bad. down and have a conversation with him. Maybe yeah, not now, but... <laughs> Tatiana ordered that salad at the moment. <laughs> Did Tatiana even get me to drink water? Look, Tatiana, I'm gonna more powerful than Tatiana. I got more stuff than Tatiana. Not 
<laughs> oh, again with your axe! Yada yada, jeez! Look, Strahd. You've been <laughs> you look Strahd. <laughs> You can accept you on the basis that this is a team effort, not a you effort. So I know back in Barovia, you kind of ran everything and you had your own ideas of what you could do and you came down to the final decision. But here, my friends and I make the decisions together as a group. So what you want isn't necessarily what we want. He's, so you have to listen to us. As you talk, he like stares off into space and everybody notices his shadow like creeping up to Seraphine and like he pulls his cape up and they're like hugging I'll grab him by the front of his collar oh no shake him and That's pull him in like, what's that yes okay. of course you're right we all need to work together I was alone I was alone for so long ruling Barovia by myself oh, yes. okay well now it's a we effort and I do remember that Lilia and Brave Sweet and Winthrop reached through and pulled me out and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Exactly. So, so of course, I will do everything I can to, to work with you and Erily as well. He reaches out and he tries to take Erily's hand. No, thank you. No, <laughs> he, no thank you. You're taken. <laughs> he's, he's, he like tries oh. to, to he tensely smiles and like looks away. But his shadow like kind of lunges at Erily's shadow for a moment. Hey. Hey. Thanks for we always loved getting you. us killed. Yeah, no kidding. Hi, Seraphine. He did. Us. Stop that. <laughs> Your hair looks nice today, Seraphine. Oh, God. Thanks. I, I don't need to live forever. I just... I would appreciate it if I got my own youth back. There will be a time and place where I'm this old and this gray and this... Oh, Verdi shrugs thing. and says potions of longevity will work once or twice, but eventually they backfire on you. The more you drink them, the more of a chance they age you instead of making you younger. I am part of an organization who found ways around that. But since you don't care and you're fine with your osteoporosis, and I'm sure as a ranger you're really going to like having brittle bones that make it hard for you to aim, I guess this isn't a problem for you. So keep your empty box that you have no use for, and I'll just go back to Shemeshka and take my punishment. I have a weird idea. Do it. But I don't know how to close the box. <laughs> what if we just put a copper piece box. in it and give it to close her? Close the box. We could do that. Just that, that, that. She didn't say what form she had to get the box back in. She well, that. like, guys, do we need the box? In Hi, everybody. Welcome to um, Dungeon Academy, episode Woo! 54. Whoa! Um, Woo! Lord Arctic Frost, yes, thank you for the bits. Um, you, you, you bitted us while we were on the starting soon thing, so I don't know. But so what that means is because you gave us a uh, thousand bits, uh, somebody gets a natural 20, so I will roll four. Counting people um, counterclockwise. Oh, it looks like it is Aya, Lilia, no! center <laughs> of all. Thank you, Lord Arctic Frost. Thank you. Um, I hope that Lilia, Lilia will use this uh, natural 20 in a way that. Make makes you proud. Make friends I with will, all. I will use it only for good, not evil. <laughs> and you know it's, it's true friends. because it's Lilia and she would never do anything evil. Huh? <laughs> Make friends with the Queen of Chaos. Here we go. Also, thank you for the follow, um, Blizzard of the Ages. And hello, look at Trooper. Alright, so let's see if I can sum up everything in like couple sentences. Okay, right? So, the group is putting together the route of seven parts. They have five pieces. They know the sixth piece is in the possession of Zeriel, ruler of the first layer of Hal. I 
there. Mm -hmm. And a real butthole. No. Well, she and, was kind of nice to us last, last episode. She was kind of nice. She let us live. That means nothing. <laughs> and, um... Alright, so you put together a rod of seven parts. You're in hell. So, you made a deal with her. she give you the peace. If you dealt with some of her enemies are digging into this place called the Bleeding Citadel. It's somehow linked to Zeriel. And she wants you to just take them out, basically. So, you were riding along in your war machine slash van full of NPCs. And you ran into Abyssal Chickens uh, who were killing two Shatter Kai, who are like dark emo elves. And they had been in a car crash and they were hurt. Basically, convince the chickens to stop attacking. And so now we've got two Shatter Kai. One, um, there's something wrong with her shoulder. The other one actually has like a stick from a tree, like through his abdomen. Ooh. And uh, that's where we stopped. So there's 15 abyssal chickens staring at you. There's two Shatter Kai moaning in pain. Van is parked next to, next to a lake full of black goo. Uh, so, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna hop out and go uh, cast Cure Wounds on both of them. Okay. So it's gonna be... That's gonna be 10 points of healing to each of them. Alright, so... Um, they both heal, but the woman, um, her shoulder is still messed up. Oh. She has uh, tattoos of skulls and roses on her. And the dude, Ooh. he's got sides of his head are shaved, and he's got a big raven tattoo on his back. And he's the one who's got, like, uh, the piece of wood is still sticking through him. Does he, is he not wearing a shirt? Is that way we can see the raven tattoo on his back? Like, he's wearing armor, that, but it doesn't cover the whole chest. It's just like little pieces and straps and stuff. Okay, but like, if it's on his back, then like, we can see the, the back, right? Or is this yeah. just in general, yeah? yeah? It's like, it's like armor with a low back line. Okay. Yes, that is. That's so like. sexy. I love it. It is. I mean, it's very sick. <laughs> I mean, they're Shatter Kai, so let's not say anything. All Shatter Kai are very handsome. <laughs> Hi, Vex. Thank you uh, for watching. <gasps> My lovely friend. <laughs> um, so he's going, oh, and she's, oh, my shoulder, and the abyssal chickens are kind of snarling at you and shooting their weird tongues out. Get the tree out of your chest, hand, shoulder area, because I, um, I, can, I can help. Seraphine, do you want to do that? I can help you with that. He reaches sure. down and tries to pull it out himself, but screams in pain. Oh, it falls to the ground. Arlie, you want to come help me? You're really strong, and I need someone to hold him down. Okay. <laughs> um, Brave Sweet, uh, can you, you can come help the other one. Hi. I want I to shoot to the chicken. Little guy. I turn to the chickens and I say, "Stay," and then I go. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, take my arrow and I point it at them, and I'm like. You stay. <laughs> or you um, will die. <laughs> as soon as uh, I really can help pin him down, I will use my... Um, uh, can I make a, a medicine check or healer's uh, kit to kind of like pat, take the wound out, or, like take the branch out and like patch him up as best I can? Yeah, you can do a medicine check. Well, first... Yeah. You can, well, all right. So the medicine check... Um, It'll be two things, right? It's going to be sure. a medicine check and a sleight of hand to pull the stick out 
without okay. damaging vital internal organs. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, that. <laughs> I'll do sleight of hand first. Oh, okay. Uh, 14 with that. Okay. Does that do? What does that do? <laughs> Uh, well, do the medicine. Let's see how the medicine goes. Okay. It's, I mean, I'm pretty well first. First time I've used a medicine to check the entire time. Uh, 21. 21? Okay. Yeah. I have so a plus eight. <laughs> you carefully are able to remove the thing. And, ah, and like, you know, there's like blood coming out of the hole, but your medicine check helps you cover it up and absorb hmm. the blood. Yeah, I've got a healer's kit, so I can kind of like gauze them up and <laughs> keep that from getting worse. Okay. All right, let me see here. What's... Oh, okay. Uh, let me add Winthrop in. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm late. No it's problem. Okay. <laughs> just, for, just for background, we are currently surrounded by a couple non-threatening for now, uh, like 13 or 15 uh, health chickens and two injured Shatter Kai. So. Oh. No, <laughs> okay. That was relevant for you. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we did here. Yeah, we're currently patching them up. <laughs> cool. So, cool. 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 Winthrop. Okay, Winthrop's in the right spot. Let's see. Mm. In a mission, Dan. Seraphine needs to go here. And center of all needs to go in the top. <laughs> And then the center of my heart needs to be moved too. Mm. <laughs> right here. Mm. No, that's Brave Sweep. <laughs> oh, that's what I want. I want her right here. <laughs> is... You want me in the center of your heart? Mm. I, well, there's enough room for everybody in the center of my heart. Uh, I see. I see. <laughs> I love you. Uh, uh, I, I love you. <laughs> Boom. That's Look at that. Got serious. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's two wounded Shatterkai. One, you pull the stick out of his torso. He gasps in pain. <clears throat> and he's like semi-conscious. And uh, the female is... Uh, it looks like she has a dislocated shoulder. Uh -oh. Do you want me to pop it back in? <laughs> that ain't fun. Uh, she says, boy. She says, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> can, can I, uh... <laughs> I have a decent wisdom, but not proficient in medicine. So I can assist if you need it. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll assist oh. and give you advantage. Okay. Uh, um, you got this, Arlie. Um, you can do it. 14. <laughs> okay, so you, like, kind of, she screams in pain as you put her shoulder joint back into place please well it's better than the alternative right mm -hmm. sorry the stuffed duck on your shoulder says well done Emily <laughs> that Thanks, was Winston. <laughs> that was nice of you hmm. I don't understand Winston at all What's his game? What is he playing? I just like that it's a stuffed duck with a really, really deep voice. It's just. Mm. <laughs> Eyes of. The like the cold, cold pits of hell. The two Shatter Kai look around nervously at the chickens and they, they say to you, um, um, our war machine crashed. Is there any way you could give us a ride? To the Tower of Urm. Do we have enough room? I mean, of course we will help you, but it's just we've got we gotta have to cram some people together. 
Yeah, there's like only eight people in here and we're already in nine people. <laughs> mm. How big is our van? Damn. It's supposed to only fit eight, but... Um, like, <clears throat> it's like Mad Max where some people can get on the sides and the top. Yeah, and okay. We can strap you to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, I can turn into something smaller. I can go on somebody's lap and be a dog or or even smaller than that. I could go spider. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. Yeah. If needed. Sure. I guess if that's okay with everyone. Um, oh, I don't think we got your names. Uh, I'm Lilia. This is my my friends and I uh, gesture and tell uh, uh, say everybody's name. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> uh, what brings you to hell? Is that um, how? So the male, the, the male, the male is in no condition to talk, but the female is. So mm. let's see. What is her name? She says, my name is Remorse Mist Reaver. And this is my brother, Grim. Oh my god. Grim Reaver. Oh. Grim Mist Reaver. We, Sounds about right. Uh, Gotta have the edgy names. We are, yeah. we are Raven Knights. And we serve the Raven Queen, Goddess of Death. Oh. She goes, and, uh, we're here on a secret mission. Wow. Or why? Well, why did? Or what? Well, why the hell did? Would, why were you sent to hell? Why the hell were you sent to hell? Got it. <laughs> so she pauses for a moment, and then she looks at Winthrop. And Winthrop, she says to you in the Shatterkai Elven dialect, she says, "Well, if if they're with you, then I assume they're. It's okay to talk to them. Yes." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she says, she says, um, okay. So the Raven Queen sent us because there's 99 souls, right? That aren't supposed to be here, but they are here. And so we have a list and we're, we're tracking them all down. We've got almost all of them. We only have five to go. They're not supposed to be here. I'll help in any way I can. <laughs> She says, thank you. That's great. Well, what, are the, what are the names of the five? Oh, um, our leader has the list. I mean, it might be us, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I mean, I, guess, I mean, we're gonna leave after this is done, so then you won't have a problem, and we're gonna all go home, and you can enjoy some cookies on the way. And I'll just, like, take out, like, a box. Like, I made some right before we came to hell. She goes, cookies? Are they bland? No, they're they're no. really good though. Oh. They're jelly filled. <laughs> oh. They're shaped like little hearts. Is it non-flavored jelly? Mm. No, it's it's strawberry. It's non-GMO though, so. Oh. <laughs> it's not GMO. The fifteen abyssal chickens. Are all uh, gobbling around you? Is that Five. what chickens do? No, they clock. They clock around you. I pet them. I pet all of them. Really? I know. Okay, I know that what they look like is but in my head. They're just like black chickens with little horns on their heads and like red eyes. From Stardew Valley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> that. White chickens. Boy chickens. <laughs> That's exactly what I imagined them, them, but they look way, way, way oh, more <laughs> so bad. They, they look really a little look bit like more things. like they're straight out of Stranger Things. They yeah. look yeah, a little they're weird bit. Looking. <laughs> they look a little bit branched. <laughs> it's like they look less like they'll cluck and more like their sounds are more of kind of a. <laughs> <laughs> so, mom, um, you're. Petting them, Airly, make a make a animal handling. Okay. Oh. A dirty twenty. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, a couple of them like a couple of them snap at you, but you avoid their bites. 
Oh, <laughs> be no, nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> be nice. Your Doc Winston says you should be careful. They're they are demons and full of chaos. It's just a matter of time before they turn on you. Mm. Well, does that uh, does that go for you too? To go for you? How? No, of course not. Well, you're a demon. I think that things that are supposed to be evil are actually have good in them. You know, like S Strahd wouldn't be here if you know he didn't love Seraphine. So. You, I mean, you catch out of the corner of your eye, Strahd in the van with his seatbelt on, staring, <laughs> oh, staring a hole through you with his red eyes. I God, love. I turn around and wave. <laughs> he's, like he's just like sitting there adjusting his seat, like. <laughs> <laughs> he like goes, reaches to the steering wheel, and honks the horn. <laughs> Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> we'll be there. Um, all right. So you're Winston, your stuffed duck, says, okay, first of all, that's very insulting to call me a demon. I'm not a demon. I'm a devil. Devils are lawful, and they live in hell. Demons are chaotic, and they live in the abyss. We're two entirely different entities. These abyssal chickens are demonic spawn that grow from the remains of demons that die in hell. So, yes, demons are crazy and they'll turn on you for no reason. Devils follow rules. Um, I wouldn't say that. Well, then, I mean... <laughs> Key phrasing, follow their own rules. Um... Remorse Mistriever says, Why is that duck talking out loud? It's a long oh, story. Yeah. Um He's our friend. It's possessed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she says, Oh. She like picks up her brother and she says, He's not Could we go can we... Are you, yeah. Will you be able to take us to the Tower of Urm? Sure, let's go. Is that where we're heading? Headed? Well, you had been given a mission to go to the Bleeding Citadel. Okay. Yeah. A lot of, like, directions. place is a place with a lot of um, uh, dramatically uh, named... Dramatic places. Blood Citadel. Yeah. We're looking for that. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm sure that we can get you wherever you need to go. Well, I'm always uh, up to help somebody. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Might right. be on the way. We never know. So you all sure. pack into the van? Yeah. All right. We turn on some tunes and we head out. <laughs> but to make more space, I'll turn... To make more space, I'll turn into a raven. Okay. Hey. And just land on a shoulder. Someone's shoulder. Strahd I don't know sees who's... you do that, and he says, he looks at you, Seraphine, and says, perhaps I should turn into a bat. Sure, keep a lookout on the horizon. I should perch on your soft shoulder. No, I'm good. Close uh... to your neck, so brimming with life. We kind of it. First of all, she wears, a, she wears an armor. Look at her. She's like fully I'm, dressed. I'm pretty gleaming, yeah. <laughs> I got some thick ass armor. Very well. Uh, I, shall so I shall fly above the war machine, watching out for potential enemies. Yeah, that sounds good. Good idea. I don't know Great. why, but this Tower of Urm sounds familiar to me. Well, that means you'll be a great addition to helping us figure out what we're doing. I just want you to know how much I appreciate your positivity. After spending so long alone in Barovia, well, it's, now it's you nice have to have friends. someone... That's why you, you make friends, that way you don't have to be lonely anymore. Yes, mm. by my side for all eternity. Farewell! He transforms into a bat. And flies out the window. Strahd! <laughs> I think about this eternity thing. Can we go now? 
Yeah, we're driving. <laughs> All right. So oh you le- are you now? You had talked last time about taking the abyssal chickens. Are you? There's 15 of them. They're pecking at each other. Are we? Are we taking them for lunch? Or are we taking them? No, because... they wanted them for. <laughs> Okay, listen. I just like the idea of them running after us. Like, in a oh, okay. All right. Just we kind of little some sort I know, of I know Arlie made like... friends with the two chickens that she, like, approached, so. How are you going to get them to follow you? They like to eat, like, gross, nasty hell stuff, right? Yeah. So, like, pin some gross, nasty hell stuff at, like, the end of our car and let them, like, fall. <laughs> like, we're going to get a carrot and stick it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, you put some some gross hell meat on, the like, your back bumper. And, uh, all right. Yeah, that does it. And they all kind of chase after you <laughs> as you drive. And I'm so tempted to just shoot one and eat it, but I'm like, no. The queen of chaos will hear what's going on and talk about your delicious neck one more time. God, you're going to eat the remains of a demon? I mean, we don't need any more NPCs, so I hope you don't pick them up. (laughs) But I just, I like the idea of like an abyss, uh, uh, like an infernal hitchhiker, like watching you all drive by. So there's like your van, and then there's a bunch of abyssal chickens like chasing after it. And like a bat yeah. flying above very dramatically. Yeah. What's really funny is I, I'm sure the abyssal chickens are slower than the van. So it's like the van drives by, and then a minute later, there's like 15 chickens. Like... We have the weirdest horde party. Coming. Yeah, I love it. I then we see really we see it. that trailer. And we're like, well, wait, we have to stop for that guy. Maybe he needs a ride. And <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, so wow. you're, you're in your van. It's time for an NPC roll call. Oh, um, Whee! let's see. So the abyssal chickens are chasing the van. Yep. Remorse and grim mistriever. I guess they're in the back. Um, mm-hmm. Just trying to, their eyes are probably closed, and they're they're you know trying to recover um, from their f- near fatal accident. Mm-hmm. Fabio, the flesh golem, um, gives is sitting next to Bracewit, and he gives her the old stretch, uh, and then the arm goes around. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and um, she's like, she's like annoyed with everything how crowded it is in the back she's like flipping through like whatever the radio stations are here to see if getting any signal. <laughs> a lot of it is just static what kind yeah. of radio stations in are in hell <laughs> well there's one that's just commercials oh god yeah. <laughs> come get your new hot yeah. It's like talk radio something. where it's like five minutes and then it's 18 minutes of commercials and then they come back for two yeah. minutes and then yep. it's 18 mm-hmm. minutes of commercials yeah yep um let's see and then there's winston the stuffed duck slash pit fiend trapped inside the stuffed duck who just mm-hmm. kind of whispers stuff to airly um let's see what does he have to tell you I don't know. He'll just he's trying to practice being nice. I like your I like your, I like your hair today. Oh my god. Thanks, I need to cut it, I think. No, no, it looks good the way it is. Maybe just a trim. <laughs> and then just chop it all off. Driving Bob the cut. <laughs> driving the van is your friend Azzy, who's a revenge devil. Who is looking at Lilia in her peripheral vision? Then there's your blink dog, doing dog in a car things. <gasps> probably got he's the like sticking his head out the window, going doing car zoomies, doing like he's sticking like, out his head out the window, he's looking he's for those abyssal chickens to eat them. <laughs> yeah. He knows they're yeah. coming. Uh-huh. And then um, there's Strahd, who's in bat form, flying above, and Twinthrop, who is. Winthrop once grew a second head that they cut off, and that head is now attached to armor animated by wind, and he's known as Twinthrop. 
And Twinthrip, from what you've gathered so far, is super shy. He Aww. sits in the back, and super quiet, and he just looks out the window, and he doesn't say anything to anybody. Hmm. He can be the one that I land on the shoulder of as a raven. Okay. Oh. And then your van arrives at the Tower of Urm. So, there's a lake of boiling blood. And then there's an island in the middle of it. On the island is an iron tower. And it's got two horns of metal at the top. And red lightning crackles between the horns. And they go, Grim and Remorse say, This is it! Tower! We made it! <laughs> Ow, my Yay. shoulder! Ow, my abdomen! <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Do you guys need help getting inside? Well, that's weird. Usually, Rothine creates like a magical bridge for us to cross to get to the island. But nothing's mm. happening. Yeah, Maybe it's like because can... you're here. Do you need here. to click the garage key? Like, I know that sometimes it doesn't work on the first try. Like, it doesn't need a new battery. <laughs> of course, like, opens the car door, slides the van door open and gets out. <laughs> and then walks over to the lake of boiling blood. And, like, yells, <laughs> yells hello and waves. But nothing happens. They're dead. Hmm. Let me see. Do I have? Can we, uh, do you need help getting a message to one of them? Um, more says, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Can you? Uh, I can send, uh, try to send a, me uh, a me me ugh, message, uh, cantrip message. Yeah, and if you need further help, I can help too. Yeah. Just, like, describe them. Uh, I'm just sending towards general that direction. It goes 100 feet, and it can go through three foot of wood and blocks and whatnot, so... Message? Yeah. Do you have to know the person you're sending it to? It's just as a, cr a creature within range. Right, hold on, let me see. <laughs> a creature within range. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what's your message? I'm just like, Hello! We are standing outside here with your friends. Uh, please, uh, open the door. Um, uh, for a moment there's nothing. Then, the red lightning crackling on the tower above gets, like, more frequent and louder. Is that supposed to happen? Huh. Um, remorse says something, something's not right. Strahd oh, turns from bat form into Strahd form. And he stands close to the edge of the lake of boiling blood. And his cape billows in the hell wind. And he looks down at the blood and he says, I wonder if it's fresh. You just might burn your face off. <laughs> might want to be careful there. My burn. Yeah, my. <clears throat> it's hell. Get a ladle. <laughs> Get a ladle. Is there like a like, blood Starbucks around just, here that we can uh, go to? Do it, Charlie, in the chocolate factory. Just get a ladle. <laughs> I mean, it's hell. I... There's one with a line that's a mile deep. Yeah. This is. Um, actually, I prefer my blood hot, he says. I Get mean, a ladle! This is boiling! <laughs> <It's still Pretty laughs> <hot. laughs> I'm um, Remorse says, um, you guys have any way to cross this lake? Um, the island in a... I can fly! Oh. That's cool. I'm, I can't do anything. Ha! Um, early, um, Winston the duck says, It would be cool if you jumped the van across the boiling lake. That would be cool. I was gonna say that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just fly on the van? Is that possible? Fly? 
Let's see. Yeah. I can fly it does in hard, various uh, ways, but... It's a, a willing creature. Oh, it's Man, a willing cool. creature! Oh, no. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, it's not a construct. Does anybody ever animate? No. <laughs> I am useless in this regard. Can somebody change? Oh, I know! Yeah, I am able I got to fly. It. I, I can make it. myself fly in variant ways, but I can't. I got it. More I cast fly. plant growth, and I oh, make oh. a <laughs> tree bridge. <laughs> Very sweet. Very sweet. Do you need a blindfold? <laughs> Very sweet. No. <laughs> Cough it up. Over the side. Over the side. <laughs> the, ranger, <laughs> the ranger who doesn't like nature. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, a hellscape is fine, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But God forbid I grow an apple tree. <laughs> okay. If you cast... Let's see, you can... Cast this spell using one action. Choose all normal plants in a hundred foot radius. I'll say that there are some hell plants. So, because there was those trees that grew the chickens, right? So, all right. So you're gonna create like a bridge of wood or vines or whatever. Yeah, like the bridge to Terabithia, but I nobody's was just gonna. Di- that. I was just thinking. Yeah. That. Okay. Nobody's gonna <laughs> die in this version. All right, so Lord you, create, God. you create a. There's bridge. a giant rope swing that's just kind of half there over the boiling. No, no, no! Don't no. hurt me! No, like, no. no! I'm sorry. Trauma. Trauma. Oh my God! Childhood trauma. <laughs> we will. All right, yeah. So there's a bridge to Terabithia that crosses the boiling blood. Very yeah. sweet thing. You summon Satan. I hate it. Remorse grabs Grim and helps him walk, and they start walking across the bridge. Do you guys want Any some more coffee? healing? I can, yeah. I can go back into normal normal person form and you like heal them some more if needed. Remorse says, you've done more than enough. You're welcome to come inside if you want. I mean, oh, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? We probably should. It seems a little sketchy. Strahd, Strahd, like, walks onto the bridge, and he dramatically poses, looking out off the bridge, in his <sighs> boiling blood, and his cape billows, very similar to the cover of the original Ravenloft adventure. <laughs> of course. And, you know, he clutches his fist, dramatically. Okay, field trip. <laughs> Yeah. Run out I'm sure them. those lunches won't do anything bad while we're hanging out here. Yeah. Okay. So. Is, how much damage can they do as hell? <laughs> yeah. Is, are you taking all of your NPCs, like the Blink Dog? Uh, um, probably Bazzy, not. <laughs> Fabio? Or are you going to leave them in the van? I mean, it's up to them. I feel like we should have somebody here in case that, like, Brave Sweet volunteers to stay in the van. She does not want to go across the bridge. I'll go. Okay. I'll go grab Brave Sweet's hand and be like, "What if I walk with you? You can just close your eyes and I'll guide you. If that makes it easier." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want you with us. You're really helpful. Okay. Mm-hmm. But then, I promise these are not evil plants. They are just my magic. But then. Fabio grabs Brave Sweet's other hand and tugs for her to stay in the van. Oh. You want to play some hanky panky in the van? Oh. No. Oh, no. There's a lot of people there. <laughs> Not in front of the children. <laughs> what children? children. Are you talking about the missile chickens? I think yeah. they seem worse. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> This old chicken like stare through the window. That would be really it's creepy if they were actually yeah. like little chicken people babies. Actually. Oh god! Oh god. <laughs> like Colonel Sanders, devils. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, are you staying in the van? Or are you going with the group, Bray Sweet? I believe she wants to stay in the van. I know this is a mistake, but this is exactly what Brave Sweet would do. It's She'd okay. Stay in the van. Hey. If we need anything, if there's an emergency, I'll send you a message. 
So just be you got it. You got it. You got it. All right. So the quick in and out. <laughs> Brave Sweet stays in the van with Azzy, the Blink Dog, and Fabio, the Flesh Golem. And you watch the group cross the bridge. They get about halfway across. And then on the other side, from behind a large boulder, steps a wizard. He is human. He's a bald head and a black goatee. And he's got a necklace, and hanging from it is a silver key. Hmm, I wonder who this could be. I have a really good idea, but I don't know for sure, actually. I don't know who this is! <laughs> Do you want me to grab what I think it is? Yeah. Or do we just keep sure, going? Sure, go ahead. Just keep going. Just keep going. Let's go. Do you, do you know the person's name? I think so. What but is I'm it? not Say absolutely it. sure. Say it. Murdy Curdy. <gasps> Murdy Curdy. That's who it is. It's oh more than Here, I'll show you why. I know. I totally didn't know that from your guide, but it's still cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I did just write a gigantic article on Modern Kind. Did you see what I did? I still love it. It's so ah, funny. Yes. Yes. There it is. Yeah, okay. Alright, I see you. So, he stands there, and he looks at you all intensely for a moment. Then he begins to cast a spell. Does anybody do anything? Uh. Excuse what? me, hello? <laughs> Do we know what kind of spell he's doing? Yeah, can I, can I understand what make, spell he is using? Make an arcana. Check. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, how does a 20, uh, 29 do you? 29. All right. So as the spell takes effect, you realize what it is. Uh -huh. Time begins to slow down. Mordenkainen has cast a ninth level spell called Time Stop. Intriguing. Oh. All right. So, for, from your perspective, time doesn't stop for him, but it stops for everybody else. So, it's like a blink where one second Strahd is with you, and the next, he is gone. Oh. Well. Oh, where, no. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> He says, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, ever since my visions in the coils of time. Um, can I? Okay, so would Lilia know who he is? Since she knows, like, if it, I always say, if you know, you the player know who it is, then your character knows who it is. Okay. I'm Birdie Curdy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we did meet a variant of him in Celestia. We did. So, oh, all right. <laughs> we might be able to recognize his eyes or something. Okay. Um, hello, um, sir. Uh, it's very nice to see you. Um, um, is there a Hi. Um, hello. <laughs> there will time. There will be time for pleasantries. Assuming you pass the test, he says. And he waves his hand, and he vanishes. Wait. Uh, what? There's a test, apparently. What uh, test? I'm saying this as a crow to I to Lilia. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that <laughs> Which means. Which is actually a raven, not a crow. <laughs> you hear in the hell clouds above you a flapping noise. <laughs> and, like, you see, like, a dragon-like shape <laughs> appear and emerge. <laughs> And a gigantic green dragon swoops down from the clouds and is flying ah! right at you. So let's all roll initiative. Ah! What? Sounds about right. Yay. Okay, oh. I'm glad I got all my fucking dice out for this then. I don't want to go first. <laughs> all right, let me roll for my monster. Oh, you rolled a one? Honey. It's okay. I'm getting all the bad rolls out of the way. Okay. These dice usually do be pretty good, so... I'm getting, I hope I get it used to I, I think Lily is just very, like, trying to, like, put together, like, 
What is he doing here? Why is there a green dragon here? What is happening right now? What is life? You know, I think I was getting a little too sassy because I was saying the other day that we're ne like we haven't found no dragons. A child. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> is that why this is happening? All right. Uh, Seraphine, what'd you get? Uh, I got a twelve. Twelve. Stop it, Rena. It's okay. I got <laughs> I got other shit to do. What about Brave Sweet in the van? Oh wait, I I get to roll too. Okay. I mean, you're well, gonna not see very it. far away. You're gonna see a <laughs> dragon coming at us. Yeah. So I got an 18 total. Damn. All right. What about Airly? Yeah. 13. 13 for Airly. Well, Winter. 21. <laughs> She's. A what? 21. 21. 21. And yeah, what about Lilia? One. Five. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, oh, hold on. It, it would be a six, but yeah, got one on the. All right. So. On days. Green dragon is seventy feet above you, and one thing you notice is that on each of its four like feet claw things, it's got like a bracelet with gems on it. Okay. Oh. It's got spells. Great. Oh, Beautiful. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so is it uh, Rena's turn? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Winthrop's turn. Oh god. Cool. <laughs> Fun. I don't know what's about to happen. I am not. Okay, give me just a second as I verify something. Just a real quick. Make sure. So, Grace. Thing. You're when you're in the van, they're tw they're 25 feet out on the bridge, so you're in the van and you're probably about 35 feet away from them. And the dragon is 70 you feet up. I see giant dragon through my window. Just so I'm you like, know. That's good. Yeah. Do you need a minute win or? Uh, I have one quick question. Yeah. The bridge versus either end of where we are. How far down is liquid? Like, is there, like, land on either side that we'd have to climb up if we were to be down there? No. No, that's pretty much right. Even. Um, and I mean, so your bridge so... is probably just barely above the boiling blood, right, Lily? Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, it's still gonna be there. It's stick around as long as it doesn't, you know, sound fire, but... I go, let's make this a little bit easier to move around and just kind of clap my hands. I forgot I had this and cast Water Walk to everybody that I can. <laughs> okay. Um, so, it should so, work because blood is only is like 70% water or whatever. <laughs> well, actually, I reread it. This is what I was verifying. Uh, this spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface, oh! such as water, acid, mud, snow, quicksand, or lava. So I'm assuming boiling blood. Blood falls under that category. It's in there. It's yeah. in the I small forgot margin. I had this spell. I'm, yeah. I looked at my spell list and went, wait a minute. Excellent. Good. So, let's do that. Um, and I can cast it on up to 10 willing creatures I can see within range. Uh, which is 30 feet, so. Okay, so everybody has water walks. That means you can all run around on the boiling blood if you want. Yeah! I'm making it a little easier and less dangerous for if the dragon submerges us. That's my action. Mm. Thank you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Winter, are you going to stay on the middle of the bridge, or do you want to move? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay here for now in case anyone needs more help. Okay. Pretty sweet! You're in the van. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, suddenly, you look out the window and you see a green dragon. And your, your friends are, like, on the middle of the bridge. Cool! I get out the car. I'm like, I gotta go. Okay. I reach for my arrow and bow and I take a, I don't know, a shot at it. Because I don't know what else to do. Okay. 
I don't know what else to do. Um, you do have plus nine to hit, right? Yeah. Oh wow. So then that's a that's a twenty-two to hit. Oh, wow. That hits the dragon. Nice. Then I have this. What's this? What's that? That's two. That's a uh, eleven. Um. <laughs> And then it's 11, and then it's plus 3. So then that's 14. That's, uh, yeah, 14. So you rolled an 11? 14 damage. Oh, 14 damage. Uh, okay. 14. Got yeah. it. Because it's, four, it, it's whatever my 2 d8 roll plus 3. Okay. So uh, you shoot an arrow, then, and that's it? Do you have I get to shoot another arrow. Okay. So, oh, that, that probably doesn't hit. That's only a 14. 14 misses. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to move well, it all? Do you want to go out onto the bridge or do you want to stay right by the van? I want to stay near the van. Okay. Maybe hide behind the van so that I don't look like I'm. <laughs> Where those arrows came from, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's see. MTC turn. The two Shattered High, Grim and Remorse, run over to the doors of the Tower of Erm, and they start banging on it, yelling for someone named Rothine to let them in, but the doors don't open. Uh, I'm assuming they can run on the blood if they need to. Yeah! Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's it for them. So then... Then it's the dragon's turn. Oh boy. So, <laughs> on the middle of the bridge is everybody but Brave Sweet. So, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, you can forget it. It's yeah, fine. It's, 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 you know. I like how we're all in a nice single file line. <laughs> yeah. I'm here in kind of like a protective, oh dear, stance. All right. So Is it, it like, has a legendary action, does it? Yeah, it does. I... So it, oh, it, 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 it's going to hover uh, 10 feet above you. I guess. Great. Well, no, it'll be a little further away. It's gonna, it breathes, so it hovers like 30 feet above you, and it breathes this cone of poisonous gas that washes over you. So everybody, please make a Constitution saving throw. Yay! I'm gonna use the die that gave me the score I didn't want. Ooh. Because it was really high. Stop it! I uh, change dice, know. different dice. I'm stop getting a new dice. <laughs> right, so Put it in jail. Lilia, what'd you get? Got him. Got a six. Okay, so Ooh. that fails. Winter, what'd you get? Hi, I'm immune. I'm, uh, I have immunity <laughs> against poison, so. Oh. Yo, I also got a six. Ooh. Yeah! Six. I, also rolled a, I... I also rolled a six. I'm not kidding. We're in hell! We're in hell! Yeah! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> the only good thing about this! That's what I want! What about I rolled a four. Uh, I rolled a four, so eleven? No, oh god, guys. Seraphine. I rolled a four, but it was a I six. rolled a twenty. Okay, so good. you made it. So, if you... Now, Bracewit, you're not in the area of this poison, so you're fine. No, I'm not, but I rolled anyways. Cause okay. We didn't take maybe. a long rest, did we? No. No. Okay. So, yeah, guys. Oops. So if you failed your save, you take fifty-six poison. Oh, that's nice. If you Great. ate it, you take twenty-eight poison. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna. Last... Do you guys want me to kill it? I'll kill it. I do have one quick question. Did you take a long rest last session? Because I wasn't here for that. No. Okay. Cool. We took a short rest though. So if you have yeah. any, uh, like if you wanna, if you had damage, you could have re-rolled for your hit dice. So you could be at full health, realistically, right now. Yep. Uh, before. There's no long rest in hell. So then, <laughs> after it breathes on you. There ain't no rest for the weird. It hovers, it moves a little closer to you, so it's 10 feet, like, above you at an angle. And then it is, um, Aerily's turn. Kick it back! Uh I can't reach it with my sword, can I? No. Yeah, that's okay. Can... Oh, you said 56. My, my long forgotten bow. 
that I just happen to have. You um, dust off the cobwebs off of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, here goes nothing, and then I sh- shoot it with the, my bow. Okay. Uh, it that is not. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Just fell on the ground. <laughs> You gotta get yourself a, like, a little thing for your guys. Oh, I got a nat 20. Yay! Nice! <laughs> nice. You should use that more often. Yeah. <laughs> it just took like two, two times dropping on the ground. But, uh, so that means you roll the damage dice twice, add it all together, and then add your bonus. What is... I never, I never use Probably a D8. I think it's a D8. So I have a D8 player's handbook right here. Plus I can your find strength out. bonus. Oh! Twenty. Twenty damage. Okay. Not bad. And then I'm going to use a bonus action to uh, for second wind. One per short rest. I can use bonus action to regain one D10 plus eleven. So. So I'm not dying anymore. All right. So it's hovering yeah. above you. You pull out your bow, you shoot an arrow into its like stomach, and it howls in pain, and then you heal yourself. Now, are you going to move at all, or are you going to stay where you are? Uh, I yell. Let's go! And then I run. So are, you, good, good, good. are you running towards the tower or towards the van? Towards the tower. Okay. So you actually get across the bridge and you're right near the door to the tower. Okay. Is that it for uh, Airly? Yes. <laughs> All right. After Airly, I am going to use a legendary action. Fuck! No! Fine. Okay. So, the th- uh, Lilia... Let's see, Lilia, Winthrop, and Seraphine are still right there on the bridge. Yeah, so sure. it's, it beats its wings, and each of you must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, don't save me, guys. Remember, you guys can walk on water. So, Lilia, what you got? 15. Okay, fails. What about Winthrop? I haven't rolled yet. Give me a second. <laughs> what about Seraphine? I got a 14. Fails. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, what's yeah, that? Yeah, I don't think I succeeded. Okay, so I got a 10. Each of <laughs> it, it beats its wings and, like, blows you tumbling. So you take 13 damage. Okay. And you're knocked off the bridge, but you just land on the boiling blood. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. I was helpful. Thank you. Imagine if you didn't do that. Oh, oh. God. All right. After, uh, that was a uh, between turn. So now it is Seraphine's turn. You're standing on boiling blood. What's up, mother? Let's do this. Um, it looks I'm... badass because you're standing on blood. Yeah. Yeah, uh, standing, or staring up into a green dragon with like a red background. Like, oh! So cool. Dun, dun. Yeah. Uh, I see how hard my friends are hurting and I'm going to cast harm. So it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, Constitution, I have plus 10. It's okay, it's still I rolled a damage. 3. Plus 10. Ah! 13? Oh, but, yeah, so it doesn't make it. <laughs> but I'm going to use one of my legendary no! resistances. No! No! Oh, no! That's okay. Oh. When I fail a oh. save, I can choose oh. to succeed instead. So That's I... fine. Yes. So it, takes, it takes half damage, so... Okay. Uh, give me a minute. This is going to be a lot of dice, so I apologize. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. Okay. Um, give me. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta count up fourteen dice. Whoa. So. <laughs> it hurt me, okay? And it hurt my friends. Yeah! Kick his butt. Okay. Yeah. Or her butt. I don't know if it's a lady dragon or a male dragon. Okay. Two. It's a male. Well, male, 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 you gonna die. Seraphina <laughs> is good advantage to see <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it takes uh, 20 points of necrotic damage. 20? Uh, yeah, and yeah, since it succeeded in save, it Four got seven. away with it got away with a lot of stuff. Oh no, it takes 27 because it was uh, okay. 55. Jesus. Four. Okay, it's and that was the low roll. <laughs> it's hurt. Still, still good damage there. All right. <laughs> Is that if, are you gonna so, stay where you are, standing in the uh, blood? Or are you no, gonna... I'm gonna run towards the door. Okay. Uh, the tower. So you run on the lake of boiling blood, and you get to the shore, and you're right near where Erily is, which is very close to the tower. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay a little bit like away from Erily to make it so we're not like super bunched up together. Okay. All right. After Seraphine is Lilia, you're standing on a lake of boiling blood, and there's a green dragon mm. hovering pretty close to you. There's two options here, <laughs> and I don't know which one would be better. Do whatever you think, babe. I'm thinking... Mm. Uh, okay. Real mean. <laughs> I'm going to do Witch Bolt on it, and I am going to use my Nat 20. Hey! Okay. And uh, I'm going to roll um, 6d12. <laughs> do it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a Nat do 20. It. Fuck yeah. it up. That's some damage right there. Mm -hmm. Fuck it up. Mm -hmm. oh I love higher levels. <laughs> Oh, is it 6d12 and then double the damage, or are you just... No, double... it's 3d12 oh, and then... Double your dice. Gotcha. Four. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good boy doesn't like it either. <laughs> he growled. Uh, this 13 lightning damage. And I'm going to give... Um, 13? Yeah. Uh, no. 30. Oh, 30. Oh, 30. I was like, what? 30. <laughs> okay. That would have uh, been a disappointing. 60. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's 30. And I'm also going to give Bardic Inspiration to um, Seraphine. 80. Okay, so All right. So you 80. shoot off a Witch Bolt, strikes yeah. the creature, counts the pain. It's not bloodied, but it's hurt. Yeah. Is that it for Lilia? Uh, yeah, gave Seraphine a D8, and I'm going to, like, run out of the way so it doesn't try to hit me, and, like, just, just So, cry. where do you want to go to? Um, you're on the lake, you can go, most, most of your allies are running towards the tower, you could go back by the van, or you could go somewhere else. Uh, who's left with the van? Brave Sweet, miscellaneous NPCs. Okay, um... I'll head towards the 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 tower. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you run over by the tower. Um, yeah. Seraphine and Airly are kind of spread apart. Are you gonna go near one of them or go somewhere? I'm just gonna try to find cover so I don't okay. die. Okay. Okay. There's a bunch of big rocks that you can. Okay. Yep. All right. After Lilia is Winthrop. You are now alone on the bridge. Or no, you're uh, right near the bridge, standing on the boiling blood, and there's a green dragon hovering above you. <laughs> so many decisions. I think you're muted. Yeah, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, I said, this is fine, this is fine. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna control winds. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Just on top of the dragon, down into the blood. Oh. <laughs> Just like <laughs> downdraft. Okay. Yo. So, uh, That's a real question. Can green dragons boil? 
<laughs> I don't know. We'll find We're out. about to find out. Okay, uh, it's uh, ranged weapons attacks that pass through the cube or that are made against targets within it have disadvantage on attack rolls, but a creature must make a strength save if it flies into the cube for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there flying. On a failed save, the creature is knocked prone or in this case gets splashed into bloody hell. No! So I don't make my save till my turn? Is that the deal? Um, yep, basically when you start your turn, when it starts its turn there, I just made it so it's really hard for it to fly in that area. Okay. So there's and, wind blowing around it right now. Yeah, and it's a 100 foot cube. Just pretty much it's in the center right now, just right there. <laughs> okay. Are you going to set it up so the wind is so big? I mean, you can set it up so it doesn't hit your allies. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I, I'm going to okay. try to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You uh, cast Control Wind. Is that it from Winthrop? Are you going to stay where you are? Or do you want to move? I want to move a little bit closer to the van so that we're a little bit spread out. Okay. All right. Do you want to get off the bridge or do you want to stay on the bridge? I'm already off the bridge. I don't oh, right, really right, have a right. choice. <laughs> do you want to go on the, the shore or do you want to stay on the blood? I'll stay on the blood okay. just to look more menacing that way. <laughs> okay. Cool. cool. Factor. Yeah. Right. After Winthrop is Brave Sweet. Brave Sweet, you see swirling winds around the green dragon and Winthrop is running towards you. I, I'll I just see you don't have to fire at it. It's at, It's going to be harder to hit now. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking about uh, the fact that I still have that the the wand of... Is it like winds or vapors. whatever? The wand of vapors. The wand of vapors. I don't think I... Uh... Does that mean, like, that the green dragon... Okay, it's a 100-foot cube, right? So there's all this boiling blood under it that might be in the cube. So the wind would be swirling that around too, right? Yeah. I guess, maybe. Like a blood blender. <laughs> oh, <laughs> spoopy. Oh. It's just blowing downward, though. So if anything, it's just kind of oh. making the blood go like this. Oh, okay. It's blowing downward. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, Brave Sweet, what would you like to do? Uh... Well, if I know that arrows are not going to land... So well, they easily. could land. You just have disadvantage. Yeah. Um... You do... This reminds you of when you were back with the Wind Dukes in the Vale of Aqua. Practicing yeah. your archery in the windy land of the Wind Dukes, Lords of Wind. <laughs> if anybody so can shoot through yeah. the wind, it yeah. should be you. Yeah. She cracked her knuckle. <laughs> Do it. You got this. You got we're this. in the plane yeah. of wind. Yeah. Literally. I, I feel like I feel like she should not. This is have... nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the bracers that you wear are actually a first place prize for an archery competition. Yeah. She looks yeah. at her bracer. She's like. <laughs> All right. She's got plus nine, I think, to hit. So that was a 19. That hits. Uh, and I, then my second roll was a 2. So oh. Two. That totals up to 11. So it, it, she, your, your first arrow goes right at the dragon, but then the wind just shoop, <laughs> shoots it into yeah. the wall. <laughs> Sorry. You, wanna, That's okay. you, you get two attacks, right? Yes. So I'm going to try again. So my first roll is 8, which is not great. And then 19 again. So, so eight plus nine, seventeen. Eight plus nine, that's seventeen. Ah, so. so the other one is also diverted from the wind. God oh, damn it! Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, uh, Bray Sweet, you're by the van. Are you gonna stay where you are? Yes, she hides. Okay. Mark I think Carl. I want to say that like he's very afraid. Part of the reason you missed was because you pulled out an arrow and the blink dog thought it was like a toy. Yeah. So it's like trying to, <laughs> no, to we're not playing fetch right now. Gently it's serious. Take the arrow from the feather. <laughs> Grab the feather and ripped it just so. Yeah. Exactly. Yep, yep. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that would have hit. <laughs> All right. After Brave Sweet, uh, the NPCs are banging on the door. They realize no one's coming 
and then take cover like Lilia did behind a giant Buddha. What kind of banging on the door? Nothing. Like... Just, they just got, you know, they're just hand. <laughs> Brianna, no! <laughs> Their brother and sister. Detention, okay. Brianna! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> related to each other for the love of God. Alright. <laughs> After the NPCs is the dragon. Saving throw. I'm gonna recharge that breath weapon. I need a five or a six. Five, don't do it. You need a five this or six. A six! No! <laughs> Make a strength saving throw, though. Oh god. Oh yeah, strength saving throw. Oops. Oh right. Strength save. Okay. So or I have a plus, I plus. No, we gonna die. <laughs> plus six. Cool. I got you. I got a nine plus six, so fifteen. <laughs> the, the number to beat? 17. Yay! Yeah! Alright, um, so I'm gonna use a legendary resistance. So Stop I can, it! So if How I many of those does it have? Does it have one per round? Three per day. Oh, fuck. Okay, just keep wearing it down. It's okay. So, um, it chooses to succeed. Does anything happen when it succeeds? Um, no, but if it's still in there. It's going to have to make another save next turn. Okay. So it's got its breath weapon, right? Uh, and, and does it? Is it like difficult terrain or something? Um, give me a second. I think that one's up to you. It would be hard to fly in because it's a downdraft, and that's yeah. hard. Let me see. Control but winds. Is that what it is? It, it says you cause a sustained blast of strong wind to blow downward from the top of the cube. Ranged weapon attacks that pass through the cube have disadvantage. A creature must make a strength save if it flies into the cube for the first time on a turn or starts its turn. They're flying. On a failed save, the creature is knocked prone. Okay. Well, that would have been bad. Oh, hold on. Hold on. The effect lasts for the spell's duration unless you use your action on a later turn to switch it to a different effect. So I could switch it to other things. Uh, and I can also use my action to temporary halt the effect or to restart one I've halted. Oh, okay. All right. So it made it safe, and now I'm just gonna like I, I'm gonna randomly roll who it's gonna fly over and breathe at because they're all spread out, right? Yes, yes. Give it a gander. So I'll, just, I'll do counterclockwise again. It's Winthrop. Ah, shit. <laughs> so Winthrop, that's fine. You're close to the man. Mm -hmm. The flies, uh, it'll be well, ten feet above you, and it will cool. breathe poison breath at you. So please cool. make a dex save, or uh, is that what it is? No, con save. Well, con save. it's the same bonus, so it doesn't really matter for me. Fuck. Just... Do you miss? I roll high. <laughs> okay, I got a sixteen. There you go. You needed an 18. Darn it. <laughs> cool. This is fine. 56 poison. Okay. Uh, Winthrop's down. However, Water Walk is not a concentration spell. Nice. Okay. Thank God. So you're lying on the surface. That was the smartest thing. <laughs> yep. That was some tactical shit. All right. <laughs> After me is Aerily. I think you're muted. I have three attacks. I only used one last time. Oh. It's in bold letters. I'm stupid. Anyway. <laughs> I was oh, also control stupid. wins is off now because it, that is concentration. It's okay. Every once in a while, I forget I have two attacks. It's okay. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that when you're a magic user. <laughs> I can barely hold up a dagger. <laughs> so it's, uh... So it's a disadvantage, right? If no, because the uh, the wind's gone. So oh, okay. Reach attacks are normal. Oh, okay. Mmm. Yay. Oh god. Uh, that sounds uh, good. That sounds no. Good. It's not yay. It's nay. That's a ten to hit. Ten misses. Okay. Second attack. That's a dirty 20. That hits. Nine. Okay. Uh, 
<clears throat> That's 10 damage. And then my third attack. Oh! It's a natural 20 again! Yay! Oh Get it! Dice. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, 30, 20, and a net 20. Fuck it up. How? I got nice damage. <laughs> 24, right? Yeah, 24. Uh, did you double the damage for the net 20? Yes, I did. Okay. So you did. Is 24 total for both hits or just for the critical? Uh, just for the critical. Okay. How much for the other one? 10, so uh, Got it. 34. Oh. Okay. So you shoot your arrows into it, and blood like shoots out of the green dragon, and it lets out like a kind of a pathetic yelp of pain, and now it looks scared. Yeah, this right. Is that's that it fine. for Airly? That's it. Seraphine, it's your turn. Um, I am gonna see when they go down and see how badly it's hurting us. So I'm gonna. Use my channel divinity, uh, hold up my holy symbol, and use preserve life so everyone gets 11 points of healing. Um, and that's my action. <laughs> I can't, can't do much in terms of bonus actions when I'm trying to keep this up. Okay. I'm not dead. Woo! Yeah, so, so you're, yeah. you're up. You're up, and you have 11 hit points now, so cool. you don't have to do any saving throws. All right, is that it for Serapy? Yes. Lilia, <laughs> it's your turn. Mm. So it's looking pretty bad, you say? Hey, fuck it up. <laughs> I, I think I might just do another Wish Bolt on it, which already succeeds because it's a Wish Bolt. So. Oh yeah, once you right, hit because it. Right, because you hit it and now it's still just like, you maintain the connection. Now, I don't remember if it's like, if it's a nat 20, then it only works on the first, like, when you roll it, right? It does the you first out. only, so... Okay. It, it yeah. automatically hits, right? Yes. Yeah, this one's just free. Nice. Okay, so that's a... Third, third, third. 19 points of damage. 19 points. And I'm going to give um, early uh, um, bardic inspiration. No. A... So it's hovering over Winthrop, and when you activate your Witch Bolt again, it's racked with pain as the energy goes all over it. It's kind of... It, it's looking pretty bad now. Is that it for mm. Lilia? Yeah. I just... Hide under my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Winthrop, you are up, and it's ten feet above you, like, getting, like, purple energy is washing over it, and it's, it's howling in pain. Cool. Um, I'm back up. Control winds didn't work the way I, like, wanted it to, but let's see. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bracelet, you're like right there. So you'll be able to shoot. Yes! Would I still be at disadvantage though? Nope. Yep. Kinda? No, not, still... not this time. Okay. Just, this isn't working like I wanted it to. It's just washing me out. Okay. Um, I got you. I'll keep you up. <laughs> okay. I think. Like Mercy shooting you from across the way. <laughs> <laughs> What I'll do is just an, an ice knife. Just hey. because that's a classic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, if it works, it works. Yeah. It so nice. I have to roll the hit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a 14. Five. Doesn't quite hit. All right. Your ice knife misses. 
Uh, it does blow up though, but I don't know where it would blow up. <laughs> it blows up. Because I fired it into the air, uh, it goes away, and it goes <laughs> as ice. It's like ah. it's just this is like sparkly, refreshing, like like snow falling down <laughs> upon us. Yeah. Ice knife. All right, let's see. Uh, A B C D E F G H. Yeah, it does. Each target, and the target and each creature within five feet of it on a hit must succeed a, on oh. a deck save or take cold damage. And whether it misses or hits, it does blow up and does that damage. But since it's in the air, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> Probably would just go into the lead, I would assume, but that's not. Yeah, yeah uh, I think it says it hits creatures around it with the explosion, right? And the target that it oh, hits. Oh, and the target? All right. Yeah. What, so I make a save? Well, it, did it hit? <laughs> or just, did it for just this one, I'll just say yes. I'll deliver it. Aww. Like, like mm -hmm. it hit, but didn't, didn't hit the... It didn't uh, pierce. It just plumped, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I think I made the save. I got a 19 plus something. But it, oh, does yeah. it do half that... damage on an explosion? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just bonus extra stuff. It sparkles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it just has like a nice, cool, refreshing breeze. All right. Which is nice after standing on um, blood. 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 Yeah. Right. It's hot. Yeah. Is that it's it like for a... uh, Winter? Uh, yes, so. Okay. Brace feet. You're behind the van. Mm -hmm. Dragon hovering right above Winter. Um, there's a icy mm -hmm. slices floating in the air, giving you a cool, refreshing moment. Cool, refreshing. I'm going to roll now to hit again. So that's 12 plus 9. That's 20. That hits. How much damage? Okay. Um, that is 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, 13. 13 damage for the first hit second arrow that probably doesn't hit it's seven plus nine that's uh, um 16. Oh, okay. 16. that doesn't hit yeah all right is that it for brace sweet that is it all right so still hiding behind the van not 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 making any sudden moves all right what happens on the dragon's next turn is it looks all panicky and it just double moves and just flies up into the clouds. And it's just gone. Oh man. Kill that. Did and you win? The doors, oh. the large ornate doors to the Tower of Urm swing open. Hey, we we won! <laughs> we solved your dragon puzzle! <laughs> yeah, Morty. <Marty. laughs> Yeah. Recently listening to, I, I just started the Crystal Kingdom, so I really yeah. Appreciate it. Oh my God, I finished Amnesty. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't worry about it. It's so good. <laughs> so the We're doors to the down. tower are open. What do you do? Oh, uh, um, is everybody okay? No. You need like you need a hug and some heels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to Winthrop and cast uh, Cure Wounds at uh, second level. Thank you. <laughs> Problem. I could use a hug. Okay. And a okay. Hug, Harley. <laughs> cool. Yay! So that's eleven points of healing to Winthrop. And then because cleric, I get four of that. Arlie, do you need to get heals? Um, I Probably. mean, you don't have to waste it on me. It's okay. Arlie. I'm going to do cure wounds on Arlie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's going to be 11 points of, uh, heals. It's a good hug! 
I'm I'm back up to hell uh, half. Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! Gotta run inside that castle so it doesn't come back. Right. <laughs> that seems like an interesting test. <laughs> oh, no boy. kidding. Mm, that's some words for you. That was mean. <laughs> Um, a nervous human apprentice stands in the doorway, um, holding like a tray with a bottle of alcohol on it and a bunch of glasses. <laughs> and he says, "Please, you, you can come in." Hi. Where were you when we needed the door open? He says, um, "I do what Master Mordenkainen tells me." Well, is Master Mordenkainen ready to talk? Yes, please. Come in. Is that alcohol for us? <laughs> yeah. Is <laughs> that booze for us? <laughs> yes. Go for it, Arlie. Woo! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink some alcohol. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sherry. So. Oh. As soon as you got her stuff, I'm going to take a big old swig from the bottle. It's the only time I've ever heard sh- Sherry's from Fraser, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's fancy. Sherry's really good. It's basically like juice almost. Yeah. Mm. It is good. So do you uh he you go in? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So the inside of the tower is much, much bigger than it should be. Somehow it's like a magical space. Um, once once you enter, he shuts the double doors behind him, and there's like a whole. It's like a mansion on the inside. Hmm. And um, he says, "Look, everybody, it's more kind's mansion." <laughs> court court says, "This is actually based on Mordenkind's magnificent mansion, but the Tower of Erm is made after that, and it's got some other special properties." Is the mansion like an actual place? I didn't know that. Sure. Like, does it exist? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the spell probably just replicates that. Yeah. I always way. assume that you just, like, make a, like, a, like, you make, like, a, like, your own mansion. I didn't think it would be replicating something nope. else. Yeah, yeah. it's totally oh. his spot. Pretty sweet. Are you going into the tower, or are you going to stay in the van? <laughs> You're staying in the van? Pretty sweet! Pretty she ain't walking over that bridge. She ain't walking over that bridge. So Bracey, no, she she the, dragon, the dragon gave her fright, but that bridge. Bracey, uh, out in the van, um, suddenly a bald wizard appears and knocks on the window. <laughs> oh my god! He makes uh, a motion yeah? to roll down the, the window. <laughs> Bracey, license and registration, please. Rolls down the window. Can I help you? Which one, of you, the which one of you is the one called Brave Sweet? And that depends on who's asking. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's, it's I, Morden Kynan. Oh, Morden Kynan, it's so nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> there are gifts what for you. What are you doing you. now? There are gifts what for you inside the tower. Come. Uh, uh, Does... uh, uh you should bring I mean, your, your friends in the van as well. You can get a full rest. How far away was on, everybody guys. when I cast Water Walk? Come on, you guys. Let, let, let's go on a rest. Uh, uh, at Mornkind's house. It's got a flat screen TV. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Come on over. It's super chill. Super All right. chill. All right, so Bra- is chill. Let's get over here. Bracey, you're going to go in? Yes. Okay. Um, Morgan kind of does not go with you. He just leads you to the door. The doors swing open, and he lets, beckons for you to go inside. Okay. All right. And he stays outside, and the door's shut. Um, so inside, you join the group. Um, um, court, the apprentice wants to lead you to a study. I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name. What's your name? The apprentice? Yeah. His name is Court. Court? Okay. Court! I like it! It's very nice to meet you, Court. He's got, like, a whole thing. He's he's all- he looks very nervous he, and shaky. Is he, like, a human, or...? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, come to the study. 
Um, the master mm-hmm. wishes to speak with you. Well, all right. Why isn't he was out? Okay. What? <laughs> oh, of course. It's... Oh, that wasn't him. That was a simulacrum. Oh. The master. Mm-hmm. Very mean. The master thinks it would be foolish to step outside the tower. I mean, seeing as there's dragons. That makes sense. The simulacrum might have issues if it falls into literal boiling water or blood, but you know, that's oh, okay. I tricked me. Court says, oh, no, that's that's Gorky. That's Mordenkainen's pet green dragon. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah, why are we bullying us? Um, the master has his reasons. Come to the study. I'll go to the study. You All think right. we're going to get in trouble for attacking his dragon pet? I think he's sick him on us. He I, killed went, it. I need to find a way to talk to monsters because I am getting really frustrated with people that I don't understand. <laughs> I want to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> that was something when I ran Tyranny of Dragons. I ran it and one of the players was a nine-year-old girl. And she ran a character named Dark the Dragon Sorceress. I and drew her! She wanted to make friends with a lot of the monsters. Good. So we started, like, she kept a list of all the monsters she made friends with. Aww, <laughs> that's awesome. so cute. I know, look at her. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, that's dark right there. All right, so you go into the study. Um, Let's see. Yeah, we're going to the study. Morning kind of is sitting behind a desk. There's a bunch of plush chairs. There's all these ancient tomes on a wall behind him. plush chairs. There's all these ancient tomes on a wall behind him. He waves his hand and a cigar appears between his fingers. And he uses a cantrip to light the cigar. And he smokes. And then he uses his incredible magic to mage hand another bottle over to you and will fill your glasses. <laughs> I'll just hold my hands out. I mean, <laughs> I appreciate that, but I just got hit with two bouts of poison breath and I'm not feeling too hot. He, he gives a hearty, <laughs> he gives a hearty laugh. And he says, "Don't worry, you'll you'll have time to to sleep it off here." Yeah, oh, that's cool. great. My apologies. I hope my pet wasn't too rough with you. I I know some things about what is going on, and I felt the need to test you to make sure you were the right ones for the job. Oh, I see. Do you have the rod with you? Do we? <laughs> yeah. Let me see it, he says. Barrel mm. <laughs> insight on him. Sure. Nothing. Yeah, I want to do an insight check too. Sure. Can uh, Can I do it while we're here? Because yes. Cool. Fifteen. Natural twenty plus five, twenty-five. Twenty-two. 17. All right. Um, then what are you trying to find out with your insight when you're reading? I'm just trying to find out if it's like if he's gonna if he's gonna try to take the the uh, rod for himself because it seems like they were I just want to know if he's doing nefarious like uh, ill intention based on his body language. He he doesn't. Well, let's see. Nefarious. Mm, he's definitely like got his stuff up his sleeve. Uh, he doesn't seem like he wants you to die. Uh, it doesn't seem like he wants to take the rod, but he definitely wants to see it. Oh, his whole thing is balance in the multiverse. That's right. How about we, like, hold it up to him, but we don't let him have it? He only will take it out and be like, uh, here it is. Uh, I... Here you go. So you let him. You let him grab it. I in, lo- in our campaign. Yeah. It yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. he, he holds it in his hands, and he says, "This is amazing. No one's ever come so close before." He says, "I, Mordenkainen, believe in preserving the balance. Um, there shouldn't be too much good or too much evil." in the multiverse and I think the best thing to do with the Rod of Seven Parts 
once it's assembled, if you succeed, is just to give it to the Wind Dukes and have them put it away. That's my general philosophy when it comes to artifacts. Um, is there a way to destroy it? Sense. Not that I know of, but uh, who knows? Perhaps there is a way. What if, because I don't think I want anybody to have it. What if the Wind Dukes get attacked? Or what if it gets teleported somewhere else? Or what if it, uh, you know, just... It only takes one greedy Wind Duke to set this problem over again. He's yeah, so, he, he, what if they try? What if the Wind Dukes try to use it to make balance in the world as they see fit? He chuckles and smokes his cigar, and he says, "I am most impressed with everything you're saying. I agree 100 percent. But the problem is, destroying artifacts is a very difficult thing. A lot of times, they just vanish and show up somewhere else. So uh, perhaps we could find a way to destroy it. Here, I want to give you something." He pulls a book off of his shelf. It's called Mordenkainen's Magnificent Emporium. <laughs> this book has information on many different magic items. Now, I own the master book, so he holds out this book for one of you to take. Who takes it, if anyone? I will take it, because I, I like books. <laughs> Lilia is definitely the one who should take it. Okay. I love books! <laughs> he says, if you write down information on magic items that you learn in your travels that will mm -hmm. appear in my master copy so i would appreciate it if you would add to my knowledge of magic items throughout the multiverse <laughs> you're professor oak <gasps> <gasps> and we have a pokedex we have a <laughs> i have a wand that can make rainbows it's my favorite item mm -hmm. look at that should definitely go in the book. <laughs> it's it's like a wand with just like a little rainbow on the top, and you like do it, and it's a rainbow. And it's just a wand. I love it's this. Cute. He says, uh, I used to be part of an organization of adventurers um, called the Circle of Eight. They're gone now. But you remind me uh, very much of the Circle of eight and um would i i had my pet attack you because i know you might have to fight niska the wolf spider and getting close to him is dangerous because his blood can kill you if it gets on you and so i wanted to see how you were with ranged attacks and uh i'm pleased to say that you did very well against poor gorgie who will need time to heal <laughs> But, I'm so uh, sorry. Nah, it's, that's all right. He's just a green dragon. Oh, he's uh, <laughs> I've got another one if you if you must know. And he um reaches, he pulls a box <laughs> out of the door, and he says, "So a long time ago, when I was researching a document called the Codex of Mordenkainen, I went into a magic sleep." And I traveled the plains, and I came upon the coils of time. Coils, giant coils, probably infinitely long, that had all of the deeds of history and places recorded on them. And so, I was able to study the past, the present, and the future. And one of the things I saw in the future was you, fighting Miska the Wolf Spider, and collecting the pieces of the Rod of Seven Parts. So I knew that we would meet because I read about it on the coils. So I have something for you. He, Brave Sweet, he holds out a little box. Mm. Open it. I gingerly open the box? There's three arrows in there. He says, these are Ooh. arrows of demon slaying. Arrows of demon flame. Yes. Hmm. Um, basically, they're arrows. Uh, so when you hit Miska with them, he'll have to make a Constitution saving throw, and if it does an extra 6d10 damage, if he makes a save, he still takes half. That's a lot of damage. Yes. So there's three of them. So that should be helpful. He says also, 
I know how to enchant items, so if you leave those snazzy bracers with me, I could turn them into bracers of archery. <sighs> Which gives you yes, please. Yo. Please leave the um, nice logo of uh, first in in the world championships. Uh, <laughs> leave that on there. But Shh. everything else, yeah. He chuckles. Of course. Uh, and so what the Bracers of Archery will do is they give you plus an extra plus two to hit and an extra plus two to damage when you're using a longbow or a short bow. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's perfect yeah. for you. Yeah. But, so that's in total plus three? No, it's to plus, hit. another plus two to hit. So you have a total of plus 11 to hit now. And oh extra, my god! And an extra plus two to each damage of each arrow. So. Oh my roll goodness. It's an addition. It's a three. At least. He, he gets up, and with a wave of his hand, a red cape appears over his shoulders. <gasps> You're Doctor Strange now! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and, um, he does have that facial hair. He does. He says, now, um, you may notice I did something to Strahd von Zarevich. Yes. What happened? You see... Not too long ago, I was trapped in the realm of Barovia. That's where he was. They called me the Mad Mage of Mount Baratok. That's where he got the nickname Murdy Curdy. Yeah! <laughs> yes. uh, w what happened was, I, I came to Barovia and I tried to help the people defeat Strahd. We fought at the top of a great waterfall and I fell. And uh, I went a little mad for a while and forgot who I was. But then... Something happened. Apparently, you were in Barovia, and the whole place crumbled. And my friends yeah. Rothine and Elminster saved me by using this Tower of Urm to get me out of there as it was falling apart. I spent some time in Waterdeep, regaining my senses, and then I got in this tower, and uh, I've been waiting for you ever since. Wait, what do you know? Do you know my? Uh, do you know my friends of the Noodle Troll? No, I don't think I. Do. <laughs> you should you should go no. there when you go back to Waterdeep. I I haven't had their noodles personally, this... but my 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 good friend Yami works there, and oh, she owns the place, and she makes amazing food, and you should try it. Mordecai... And she's also an amazing actress. Warren tells you a story. This is right from the one of those old Wizards Three articles in Dragon Magazine. <laughs> this is true. He actually said in the article he used to go to Waterdeep to find companionship. Oh God! <laughs> he would call it a oh night, God. a night of shadows. He says, you oh, know, God. it's been quite a while since oh, I've had no. a night of shadows in Waterdeep. Perhaps I will seek out this noodle troll. Although I don't know where they are now because, um, well, my friend is kind of uh, well. My friend was in jail, and then I didn't hear from her for a while. But I assume she's okay, because otherwise I will cry myself to sleep, and I will be very sad. Your friend is irrelevant to the task at hand. My friends are never irrelevant. That one is... I'm doing all of this for them. I didn't read about them on the Coils of Time. Really? Because... Yami helped He missed us. out a bunch. Yeah. He find one of the pieces. And so... Yeah, and she's going to take them. <laughs> Don't you know? Pieces within pieces. Um, yeah. He says, so one of the things I read in the, the Coils of Time was that Strahd was going to derail you and betray you. So what I, I, mean, I did was oh. I cast Time Stop and I cast Banishment and I sent Strahd away forever. Forever? Know where he ended up. <laughs> Guys, That's side quest. Cool. We need to go save Strahd again. Banishment, Banishment. normally <laughs> sends you to your home plane. I have no idea what Strahd's home plane would even be. And who cares? Good riddance to that despot. I care. That evil tyrant. Oh, no. Okay. I know he has a bad reputation and he rightfully deserves it. But he's actually working to make himself better. Pretty pretty, that's her boyfriend. <laughs> you can't do that to somebody's your boyfriend. I don't like him personally. He kind of gives me crazy. But you can't do that to somebody's boyfriend. That's just, you know. Uh, we're not like 
dating. Of course, world. you're not exclusive. I know, yeah. but he says. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't very particularly like him either. Because, I mean, I like to see the positive in everybody, but he's kind of um, they're mean. Everybody, yeah. and well, I, I support you, Seraphine, but also he, he kind of like tried to like murder Sarah, like a lot of people, a, a lot of times. I know, I know. Look, I, I haven't really told me. He also much. like kind of like is overprotective of you, and it kind of seems abusive. And oh, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, and I, I know your whole thing is redemption. I know, which is but great. Like, I was kind of told <laughs> by by everyone that Umber wants me to redeem him and make him good again. So, regardless of our personal situation, which we're not dating, we're dealing with things. But like, even regardless of that fact, like my God kind of told me I had to do it. And I mean, if he can be redeemed, then so can other people. I mean, isn't that the whole point? I mean, yes. Yeah. Here is a point, though. If he's banished to wherever his home plane is, that's one thing. And I don't know what his home plane is. If it's Barovia, he's going to face a lot of gross. But, you know, the I'm pretty sure if it's not the home plane, it's whatever... It, it has to be non-hostile. I can try to contact him. Basically, what I'm saying is if Mordenkainen is right and he was going to betray us or derail us or whatever, you can go back after. Mordenkainen says, I forbid you to try to contact him. He will you ruin You forbid everything. me to do anything. Not my yeah. dad. <laughs> you know, my father, my father's dead. <laughs> this, is, this is my tower of Urm. <laughs> what I say goes in my oh, tower. I can walk outside whenever I so choose. <laughs> yes. Maybe we don't have to get all the rocks oh, so much. Maybe we just need to destroy one part. Clearly, you know? he has um, charmed or somehow um, infected Seraphine here. With he his has not. Evil, as he has done many times before. So, um, if I was being charmed by him, let me just say, I would be very powerful and very alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your group, um, there's varying degrees of goodness in your group, but his immense evil, you know, threw your balance out of whack. Okay, well, uh -huh. I turned evil. Can people so, not see themselves? That's Are you so, even the okay. real morning Kainan? Yes, yes he is. <laughs> totally is. He's trying to balance the party. It's <laughs> it's his no, philosophy. No, no. What if we're too good? Hmm? Hmm? That can be just as bad. Exactly. So clearly we need some kind of powerful balance. I mean what if we die trying to defeat Mishka? Then Strahd could have been the one to save us. Did you see the end of the road? Did you see if his betrayal ultimately hurt us, or maybe he worked? As well, a there's two things. Agent? There's two things about the coils of time. I only caught glimpses of the future, and the other thing is, ah. the coils of time recently changed when three realities merged into one. So, oh. I haven't been to the coil since then because it's so taxing. But I yeah, assume it's pretty much the same. Huh? When, did the, when did three realities merge into one? There are beings, Lilia, three mm. beings in the multiverse who are the living embodiments of the principles of the multiverse. They're center of all. There's rule of three. And there is the one that I always forget. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's circle, her. Whatever the circle one. It says, when Rule of Three died, three realities merged into one. Hmm. So, hypothetically, just as off the top of my head, um, what would happen if um, the center of all were to die? He says, um, well, I don't know. What would happen if the multiverse didn't have a center? Would it become like a black hole that would just destroy everything? 
All it's the an universes. interesting theory. We should try it. We no! should not try it. <laughs> Wait, sweet. <laughs> no. Are you the real evil one here? Huh? I um. That might be a problem. That might be a really big problem. It's okay. I've got you. I have. I have. Mordecai says, "Why? Plan. Why would that be a problem?" Mm. Um. Well, <laughs> he's a balanced guy. <laughs> so you see, there was a thing in um Seagull, uh my patron, my friend, um, had my friend got murdered, and um I didn't have any powers, and I went looking for other powers, and I found them in me and in my friends. Mm -hmm. And I... I might be the center of all? Um, when you say that, like, he drops his glass and looks at you in shock. <laughs> He says, oh, well, this changes everything. And uh, we will stop there for... Ah! 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 Oh, are we the ah! center of love? Oh, my God. We're you didn't know that? Yeah. No. We've been the center of love for, like, oh a my couple God. episodes. Yeah. yeah. Well, she also got a rad new staff and can feel Seraphine's feelings. Yeah, she's connected to Seraphine. And good boy. And the dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't we uh, do some plugs? Uh, let's see. Why don't we start with Aya? You got any plugs? Um, Rickjubers on Friday. Uh, it's gonna be super fun as usual. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be fighting a fighting a dinosaur in a sewer in the internet. So that's gonna be a great time. <laughs> There's so many uh, layers to that. <laughs> it's it's like, the internet, yeah. Huh. <laughs> My character's uh, flirting with a samurai. Yes. <laughs> kind of badly. Very badly. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. Uh, hopefully good. And hopefully we'll have a pet dinosaur video. And so that's on Scotty Hood's channel. 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on Friday. Yay. Awesome. Rena, got any plugs? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Miko underscore Karina, M I K O underscore C A R I N A. Uh, Instagram, same thing, just without the underscore. Uh, I have things that I'm trying to catch up on because I was sick a little bit ago and then a family reunion happened and it's just like, ah, life is busy all of a sudden, but I'm almost done. So you'll see it. Eventually. Cool. Callie, got any plugs? On Tuesday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be in a, a Heroes Without Limits stream called Twilight Grove, where I'm going to play a nymph. Uh, and I'm really excited. And a nymph? you should check it out. They're really cool over there. Yep. A nymph. <laughs> in DD? &D? Yeah, oh, it's a homebrew. They're letting me homebrew. Isn't an nymph in D and D? If they see you, they go blind. Uh, it's like a yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. A... <laughs> it's fine. But it's a play in the player race, so it's like it's a little different than the okay. the monster of a nymph. So it's a little, it's no blindness. We're fine. It's okay. She's she's like blind. It's cool. Oh. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Uh. Brianna, got any plugs? Yes, um, I'm here Sunday, same time, same channel. And also tonight I'll be posting a project that me and a couple of my friends have been working on. Um, a D&D uh, art uh, telephone project. And we plan to do so again after this. And I'm excited to post it on Twitter. If you don't know, follow me on Twitter. Um, Sting Cat Breezy. And uh, it, it's by a bunch of artists, including Lilia's in there, and uh, others that are Cal also. Callie's in also in there. Callie oh. and, and Ramrod. Uh, yeah, really? 
They remind you of winter, the- and it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's wow. wonderful. Right. So I'm excited yeah. to uh, share, and I'm excited to start uh, it up again because it was uh, a lot of fun to do it with Is you. Is this going to be on so. Twitter? Yes, yeah. so it's so- going to be an entire thread. Oh, all right. Cool. Every, uh, we made, we randomly generated a D and D character, and everybody drew art uh, of it. W- w- of art of the art that came before it. So it's a yeah. art tele- oh, oh. One yeah. of those oh, things. That's yeah. fun. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we so, can use that yeah. as an NPC yeah. or something. I mean. mm-hmm. I'll uh, I'll uh, I love I'll, how like, I'll, I'll also add a. a, a an invite to the uh, Discord, so then you can also join if anybody is interested in joining for the next round, because that mm-hmm. would be fun. Cool. Super fun. Yeah. Chloe, got any plugs? Uh, just follow me on Twitter at Chloe underscore fairy one. Um, one of my projects got wiped halfway through because my computer froze. Oh. And then we oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So I have That's to awesome. rework uh, like fucking an hour and a half of work but as soon as my projects and tests are finished in the next two weeks i will be posting the completed rough draft of one of my secret projects mm. exciting Interesting. it has to do with dungeon Academy, it's... so yeah! <laughs> so you'll see how it comes awesome Yay. Oh, also oh. i named one of mine baji's brave sweet so <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have two budgies. Well, one question. Um, so, as far as Strahd goes, do you guys plan to try to contact him or anything, or are you going to? I him? sure as fuck plan you to. Are? Okay. I don't know about them. Winter doesn't want to. <laughs> well, okay, Lilia is very conflicted because first, Strahd is like evil, totally. I don't like him. But also, Seraphine's feelings. Yeah, you're affected now by it too. Yeah, so she might wanna, uh, but I don't. I hate Strahd. I want to push him off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> I had a whole thing. I like there's a ritual to try to change a vampire into a regular person that I found in this other adventure, and it's like a Ooh. big thing. And so that was one of your options in Sigil. You didn't. You never did it though. So. I didn't think about that. That's okay. We're heading back to Sigil. Yeah, Yeah, it's still there. I can't. I can't. I can't go back there. Yeah. Right now. Why can't you? All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will see you again next time. Goodbye.